Hi there, in today's video we're going to go over the straightforward crafting rotations for all crafters levels 1 through 49. Let's start with the basics. I have unlocked carpenter for this example. Finishing crafts and getting high quality crafts is based off your stats as a crafter. We have control, which relates to normal quality or high quality, craftsmanship, which relates to finishing a craft, and CP, which relates to how many abilities you are able to use. Starting off, I will also purchase upgraded crafting gear from the vendor where applicable as it's very cheap. So all this gear is just simple vendor gear that you can get from NPCs in the starting cities. The goal of every manual crafting recipe is to finish with 100% high quality and complete the craft as quickly as possible. All of these can be made into macros to be used across crafting classes. For macro usage, once you know you can craft can be completed with the gear and the usage of abilities, you can simply make a macro under the macro section. A lot of time though for these lower levels, you're going to blow right through them. So macro would only be helpful if you're gonna level all your crafters so you can just hit a button and not have to manually craft. If you want a how to make a macro video, then comment down below and I'll put one together for you guys. Level one through four. This will be basic synthesis until the craft is complete. We can check calculations here on the craft menu in order to determine if we're gonna be able to finish the craft with the durability that we have, which becomes very important for all crafting early on as even one point off and you fail the craft. Level five to 14 is the same rotation as well basic touch to 100% high quality and then finish with basic synthesis. The reason we want high quality when we're crafting items manually is that you get almost 300% the experience boost than if you were to just quick synthesis it. So starting off, if you're not doing stacks of 99, just make sure to manually craft and get 100% high quality on most of the crafts you're doing. For levels five through 14, if you're running out of durability for whatever reason before you can finish, you can use master's mend. So the rotation will look like this, basic touch to 100% high quality, master's mend, and then basic synthesis to finish craft. We do not fully utilize master mends, hasty touch, rapid synthesis, observe, or tricks of the trade just yet. So simple upgrading a gear or even just weapons as you level make you complete these crafts without these abilities. They will come into play later though. The last important note is at level 11, we get a trait called inner quiet. This is the base of all of our rotations later on and essentially every time you use a touch action it increases by minimum one stack. We'll get abilities later on that help us utilize this stack so don't worry about it for now just think of it as an added buff. Level 15 to 17 rotation will have waste knot and veneration. We will use Waste Knot over Master Mend, and you probably won't need both, but you can use both if you have enough CP. The rotation would be as follows. Waste Knot, basic touch to 100% high quality, veneration, basic synthesis to completion. If you run out of durability, you can use Master Mend after finishing the high quality part and just before veneration to get some durability back. Level 18 to 21. Crafting Rotation will now have Standard Touch, which is a higher tier version of Basic Touch. If you read it here, it's a combo action, so we'll use this after Basic Touch, as they are the same CP when used as a combo, but Standard Touch increases quality just a little bit more efficiently. The rotation will be as follows. Waste Knot, Basic Touch, Standard Touch, Repeat until 100% high quality, Master's Mend if needed, Veneration, Basic Synthesis until completion. Level 21 to 25. At level 21, uber important note here, you need to make sure to upgrade your accessories as more CP means more moves we can use. So make sure to do that. You should be doing that anyway where you can, but it's really important after mid 20s to have enough CP for these rotations. We get great strides at level 21. This allows our next touch action or quality increases action to be 100% better. It's a huge boost and should be used near high quality completion of the craft. Let's say about stacks four to six for inner quiet. The rotation for these levels will look something like this. Waste not, basic touch, standard touch, basic touch, standard touch, here you can use great strides and then basic touch again. If the craft is not finished, then one more basic touch. Veneration, basic synthesis until craft completion. Basically, you'll wanna use great strides again between four to six stacks of inner quiet. You can think of it this way if you want like a little bit of an indicator as you're crafting. Also, don't forget, if you get any value out of this video, then make sure to limit break through that subscribe button down below. Level 26 to 46 rotation. Here we'll get innovation that will make getting your crafts to high quality a little bit easier. 
It's a buff for touch actions. Innovation will be used first before Waste Knot here since Waste Knot is more expensive and at lower levels helps more in the long run. At this point, the rotation will be as follows. Innovation, Waste Knot, Basic Touch, Standard Touch combo to about four to six stacks of Inner Quiet. If you have upgraded gear from NPCs, you can do Innovation again, Great Strides, Basic Touch or Standard Touch if you have the CP for it, which you should. From here, finish the craft with the standard veneration buff and basic synthesis still completion. I ignore final appraisal as it's a little bit more niche and doesn't get used in regular crafting at these levels. Level 47 to 49 rotations won't change much, just made a little bit easier. Where before we used Waste Knot, we now use Waste Knot 2. These do not always replace each other though, cause there are times when you want Waste Knot 1, over Waste Knot 2, so don't assume as a new crafter, upgraded abilities are always better. It's just what is needed to finish the craft. Rotation for these levels will look something like this. Waste Knot 2, Innovation, Basic Touch, Standard Touch combo, up to about four to six stacks of Inner Quiet, Innovation, Great Strides, Basic Touch or Standard Touch, Veneration, Basic Synthesis until completion. We use Waste Knot 2 first now since we have 8 steps of half durability instead of 4 steps from Waste Knot 1. So we can't afford to lose 1 or 2 at this point, most likely because you won't need them all anyway at this level. If you notice there is a pattern for crafting at these levels, sometimes though it will be different. Sometimes you want to finish the craft almost first and then go back and do the high quality part of the craft. There are many, many rotations out there depending on stats, so if you see one from another content creator or from team craft, it doesn't make it wrong nor right. There's just different ways to get to the same thing. These are just what I use to get to the end of the craft with high quality as quickly as possible. As you craft with these rotations and depending on the gear, you'll see that you may not need four to six basic touch, standard touch combos. You might just be able to do it with two or three or maybe you don't need the great strides or the innovation to reach high quality these are just the standard easy rotations for you to learn to finish 100 high quality and complete the craft but it's up to you to start omitting extra unnecessary steps as you get more comfortable and better gear this is the straightforward crafting rotations for all your crafters from 1 to 49. I really hope this helps demystify some of the confusion for crafting and starts helping you develop a sense of the rotation that comes from learning these abilities. There are other rotations out there for this level, but I just find these to be the most straightforward. Make sure to give this video a like as it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. I also have all my Final Fantasy playlists linked down below, which if you're looking for crafting gathering, job guides, controller guides, etc. Or if you want to watch more Final Fantasy guides, then you can click here.